Hey fam, how y'all doing? My name is Franklin and welcome to our Gases. Today we're playing Cryptic Crush and uh, last place we left off was like getting to the radio station and figuring out the um, um. dice system. <laughs> um, oh, can I bash the pitch? Um, um, so, so, like around there. Um, what am I looking at? Or oh, what am I looking at? Something like that. Sometimes things require skill and a bit of luck. So to, so to determine how your faith unfolds, you have to roll. So you help me, Nandy. <laughs> You'll be giving a difficulty rating that you would have to meet to surpass or surpass. The universe will then add a modifier based on your stats, brains in this case. Yo. I have stats. <laughs> I just thought about that. Say, when did I have stats? When did I put that together? This feels like some kind of forbidden knowledge. <laughs> oh, it is. Now try rolling for real. Fine, fine. Uh, plus two nine. What's this and this for? That's these numbers are confusing me. Wow, that was awful. I mean, it said four and four, so I was thinking eight, but went back to one. So, like, snake eyes. Don't worry, though. If you fail a roll, don't fret. You have a chance to change fate by spending karma. Oh, okay, you you updated the system. I see you. Used to be just like a reroll, but karma is like something else. You know, let me just call Atlas. <laughs> What's karma, you ask? Well, whenever you fail a roll, you can expend karma to reroll. You can reroll as many times as you have karma, whether you succeeded or failed that roll, but you have to be smart with it. You only get a point of karma when you fail and decide not to reroll. You got it? Oh, damn. Okay. I'm sure someone around here gets it. Yo, uh, separate it on the wall. Great! Now tap that button and try rerolling those dice. Success! Result 7 plus 2. So my brains is like the plus 2, which give us the 9! So wait, can we roll a 9 with dice? Yeah, 5 and 4, 6 and 3. Okay. I only got plus two brains. Yikes. The flashlight scans over the empty lot. Light dragging across the scattered windows and over the overgrown shrubbery. It suddenly catches a pair of beady red eyes lurking in the tree line. The light glinting off the unblinking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you yelp in surprise, dropping your flashlight. In a flash, the figure leaps from the branches and splays its wings, swooping down before landing with a swift somersault. Dramatically, the very clouds over her overhead part, silvery moonlight, revealing the creature's feathery visage. Wait, Atlas? The one and only. The one and only. The one and only. I thought I scoped out the perimeter before diving right in. <laughs> I like that. Ah! Okay. After this dramatic entrance, Atlas shakes out his glossy feathers and flaps his large wings. His antennae twitch as he stands on one leg, poking Taro with his with one of his hind claws. Okay. Oh, is this the spirit you mentioned? Huh. I kind of expected something um, more impressive. Dang! Taro fluffs up her whiskers, standing on end as she hisses. You better tell him, Taro. She bites one of the Mothman's talons. Ouch! I am in immense pain. 
Atlas pulls away, breaking out of Taro's grip. It's not too late to be haunted by something cooler, right? Dang. Taro's doing her best. <laughs> you shoot the Mothman a sharp look. You're just jealous you don't have a familiar following you around. <laughs> Damn, honestly, if I had to pick, I'd want a Raven familiar. Too bad Ravens hate me. Damn. Alice bends down and scoops the flashlight off the ground. Here, sorry for startling you. Breaking through the greenery, a single blue flame casts an eerie light over the large opposing demon. Striding into the clearing, a heavy pair of bolt cutters resting at her hip. Sorry Their hip, my bad. Waiting. Okay, Jamie, sorry to keep you waiting. Like, I got you. Ah, it seems everyone has arrived. I assume Atlas spoke with me? I thought it was Jay at first. <laughs> I'm losing track already, it's only four. <laughs> The tall devil stares down, as if evaluating the small human and his, his spe spectral, spectral cat. I'm even getting confused how to refer to them. It's gonna take me a minute, I guess, but like, I'll get it down. How did you get here so fast? Legs. You know, I wanted, I wanted Jamie to do the legs thing again. That was, that was, that was, that was everything. That really was everything. When he did a little turn, I was like, because I, I have legs. What do you mean? I have legs. <laughs> this is Jamie, the roughest devil around. They're a great listener, bone collector, fist fighter, and artist. Jamie, you should show Jay some drawings. No. <laughs> I sooner die a thousand deaths to share my art. But you're so good. I suppose I'll scout on ahead since you seem to be in such capable claws. The feel like her response to demon flows through the fence and dis disappears into the overgrowth. We should follow suit. All right, we should follow suit. I don't know. I have to listen. I will have to listen. I don't want to listen right now. <laughs> Jamie struts towards the chain link fence, unsheathing the bolt cutters. They snap through the padlock and give a quick thumbs up. Let the crimes commence. Okay, Jamie, begin to crime. I see you. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. What if someone gets hurt? You hesitate, stopping just before the gate. Atlas nudges you and smiles with his eyes, his antennae flicking forward as he tilts his head to one side. Shh. Ghosts are practi practically harmless. I bet this dude's just got some disembodied voice or a possessed microphone. Besides, you got me to protect you. Mm, nah, it's the other way around. Hurry up. Reluctantly, you follow suit, trailing out the Atlas as you three approach the abandoned station. The exterior of the radio station is tagged with fading graffiti and plastered with accommodations. Com Condem condemnation warning posters. Jamie turns the handle to the front door as it easily clicks open. I expected more resistance. That's probably my best line of Jamie that you're gonna get. <laughs> That's probably the best line of Jamie you'll ever get from me. Um, looking through the doorway, the dark interior of the station seems impossibly clean compared to the outside. The waiting, the waiting room is seemingly suspended in time, only faded from months of neglect, maybe years. You shuffle in line behind Jamie as you examine the lobby. Why are you still upset? <laughs> Stopping a moment, you realize that you only, you're the only one with the flashlight. All, all you can see in the dark? Indeed, my eyes can pierce any darkness. I actually rely on my capitate I don't know how to pronounce that. Capitale Atene. With these big old eyes, my vision's super sensitive to light. Okay, it's not seeing, but more like smelling. You have got to be joking. Atlas, can you go a single day without mentioning your insectoid parts? 
I don't mind really. Oh, okay. Last line. You twirl the flashlight in your hand, nearly dropping it in the process. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Again, my name is Franklin. This has been our cases. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know by leaving a like, subscribe, and on notifications so you know when I upload the minute that I do. If you enjoyed this game and would like to play it for yourself, you can do so via the links in the description and the comment section. I believe that is all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in the next video.